doing well. I hope you're doing well. I was just reminiscing with myself uh, about um, oh the days when I was uh, was a gambler, and uh, because you know on the last episode we sat down and and played some blackjack there and tumbleweed and a rigged game. I tell you what, and, uh, and, and there were some a couple of comments saying how I I, I misplayed a couple of hands. You know I sh- you know you shouldn't have bet the way you did on that one. Uh, you know, or he should have hit instead of t- and stand and all that. You know, and and they're right. You know, but I was I'm playing a video game when when and I couldn't see the dealer's cards. I didn't, I I, didn't, I wasn't sure how to. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you guys are all right. The the ones that corrected me on on that hand. Uh, but uh, I was just thinking about it and um, and I thought maybe I'd tell a couple of gambling stories. Now, um, PSA, public service announcement from YouTube. YouTube, the opinions of Mojave D expressed here are not necessarily, am I sound up? Yeah, it's not necessarily the views shared by uh, by YouTube. YouTube does not endorse anything that Mojave D is about to say. YouTube cares. So, <laughs> PSA announcement. Uh, don't gamble. Um, anyway, uh I mean, it got to the point where uh, I had quit. I haven't gambled in, you know, over two decades. Not even one hand. I won't I, because it's like an alcoholic. I realized it had a hold on me because I was going out every night. I was gambling every single night, and um, it got. I mean, one year I had to uh, um, claim twenty two thousand dollars. I had to add twenty two thousand dollars to my gross income. I was, you know, gambling uh, winnings, uh, so I had to add twenty two thousand to my gross income. You know, and then adjust it. But um, I don't do that anymore because it, it, it became, you know, I realized, man, I'm going out every night. This is not. So I'll tell you about the the first time I won big because this is winning big is what led me i don't know if these other you know that adrenaline rush and that oh my gosh you know look at this uh leads you into trouble you know it's it, it, yeah, yeah for someone like me it's the worst thing that could happen is to win big so anyways it was on my honeymoon 1979 in uh, lake tahoe and uh no it wasn't was it not the first time no no the first time i won big I was single. I was like around 25-ish and um, um, had a hard week, man. Work, you know, after work, and I'd work all day. And then after work, uh, I was helping build a, uh, a pipe corral, a, um, a, a horse corral, but it was out of pipe. So we were welding a uh, pipe, you know, corral. And um, so I'd work all day. And then, at, you know, after work, uh, me and uh, I'd go help two other guys, and we were we were um, building a pipe corral and um, for horses, and then uh, you know, and then when we were done with it, you know, we we painted it, we whitewashed it all white and everything. So it was a long week, is what I'm trying to say. And I felt like I needed to treat myself. And um, now I wasn't a gambler then; I'd only been to Vegas a few times, but. Um, so I decided I'm going to drive to Vegas. So I get in the car and I drive to Vegas, about a three-hour drive, and um, to the uh, the Union Plaza. It was the Union Plaza, and this is like so like mid '70s here, and and uh, Union Plaza is right at the beginning of Fremont Street. If you're not familiar with Vegas, and it has it looks all the way down Fremont Street. And back then you could drive on Fremont Street. You could park on Fremont Street. You know before. No, you can't anymore. I don't know when they changed that, but they turned it into a, a circus, basically, <laughs> you know, down the street there. It was better in the old days. Vegas was better when it was run by the mafia. And it was. You know, the corporations don't do near as good a job a, as the mafia did as far as taking care of the customers. Uh, and unless you cross them, you know, then there's, you know, <laughs> it's a big old desert out there. You know, don't cross it. You don't want to cross those guys. But... Um, <laughs> I got off track. Uh, well, this story will actually uh, illustrate my point that 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 the the mafia actually did a better job of running Vegas than the corporations do. It, um, so I I pull into the Union Plaza, and the only reason I I, I went there is because that was my dad's favorite place. And he always got the same room at the Union Plaza. Him and my mom. 
Um, anyway, uh, and I won. I'm playing blackjack. We're just playing. I'm playing blackjack, and I mean, I won big. Uh, you know, I gambled for. I, I stayed there for hours, um, and I just kind of played the way my dad taught me. He gave me some some rules because my dad was really good, but he wasn't. He didn't get addicted to it like I did. So um, I won big. I can't, I can't remember how much. It was a lot. Uh, I'll tell you, enough that they did this. I'm leaving. I'm like, okay, so I had just driven there, right? Three hours there, and I probably gambled for, I was probably gambling there for several hours. And uh, and I've got a whole bunch of money, more money than I'd ever had at one time in my life. And I'm walking out. I'm getting in the car, and I'm driving home. You know, something else my dad taught me, walk out with your head. And... Um, and the pit boss comes up to me, man. And this guy is just, you know, mafia vibe all over him. You know, you know, you know, East Coast, uh, New York or New Jersey accent. Uh, just, I mean, and I love that. I actually, I actually, uh, I like that, that, uh, that, that New Jersey mafia vibe. And this guy had it to the nines. And so he goes, hey, kid. Right. I'm walking out. And he, hey, kid. <laughs> he's the pit boss. He see he's. He says, that's, he said, you had a good run, man. You had a good run. And I go, yeah. And he, he says, he says, where are you going? You know, where are you going? <laughs> yeah, so I'm going home. I'm, I'm going back to California. And he, he says, you know, he says, I wouldn't want to do that for. You know, right? <laughs> he says, well, he, he says, look. He says, what if I give you a room? He says, he says, he says stay here. Stay here. You don't want to drive across that desert. You know, stay here. I'll give you a room. It's on me. And I never heard of such a thing. And I said, well, I said, well, no, I, I'm, you know, I'm thinking, wow, well, I got to pay for this somehow. And he goes, no, no, no. Um, no, it's on me. It's on me. My hot tub. He said, he says, get it, get your hot tub and everything. You know, I go, hot tub. <laughs> and, he, and I says, not, and, and so he puts his arm around my shoulder and he says, come on. And he's walking me over to the desk, you know, to check in. <laughs> I was like, I'm, I'm, I'm still wanting to leave, you know, but he's, you know, he's got that, that, uh, mafia thing going on. And <laughs> so I get a room and they gave me a deluxe suite for free with a hot tub and a round bed, a round bed with red satin sheets. <laughs> I was like, I'm like, whoa, man, this is Friday night, right? I drove right after work. I just drove and I'm just gonna, I just need to get away. And uh, <laughs> so, so I go down, man, and, you know, I have myself a prime rib and lobster and baked potato and asparagus, you know, I have myself and a glass of champagne. And anyway, long story short, <sighs> come Sunday, let's fast forward, it is Sunday morning, and I have enough money to buy a cheeseburger and gas to get home. <laughs> Hey, kid, that's quite a run of luck you had there. Let me buy you a room. You know, let me give you a room. Don't go home, right? <laughs> so I am, I am uh, dejected and feeling, just kicking myself. Just, just, you know, you jackass. What a jackass, you know. You could have left on Friday night or Saturday morning, you know, with thousands of dollars and, you know, and been, you know, fat and, uh, you know, with a fat wallet. And uh, here you are, and you can barely buy gas and a cheeseburger to get home. I was mad. I, was, I wasn't I was mad. I was sad. So the same pit boss comes, hey, kid, you know, he stops me on the way out. Hey, kid, he says, That's a, that was a real real run of bad luck you had <laughs> oh yeah and he says uh he says um he says how you getting home and i said i'm driving and he says do you have gas money this is, there's my example of why the mafia ran it better okay you you do have happened to you what just happened to me with these corporations running the town they don't care this guy was gonna give me gas money you know he, he says uh so he says how you getting home and i said i'm i'm driving he says he says you got you got you have you have gas money you know and he's reaching for his wallet he, he says you got enough money to get home 
you know, and I go, yeah, yeah, I, I, I said, I'm, I'm fine, I'm fine. I really think if I had said no, he would have given me some money. <laughs> so, that's, that's, so, yeah, don't do what I did. Anyway, back to the honeymoon. Um, <laughs> uh, 1979, so we hit town, uh, Lake Tahoe, uh, Harris, Harris Tahoe, and we had you know, already had the rooms booked, you know, for the, for the week, you know, for, for the honeymoon, I think it was 10 days and uh, we're going to spend, and we just get there, right? We just land, uh, you know, you know, taxi over there, uh, and, uh, still got our bags in our hand and, and we're walking towards the, uh, the desk, you know, to check in and this table whispers to me, it's like, psst, 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 David, 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 that's my name. And I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, hold on, hold on. I said, I got, I got, I got to play, you know. And I hadn't been gambling. I mean, I wasn't a gambler. I, I, I had done very few, few times. And, uh, and so my new bride, she's like, oh, we got to check in. We got, I go, just a second, just a second. So I go over to this blackjack table and I put a $20 bill down and she's, Dealer's gonna wants to give me chips. I go, no, no, just the twenty. I'm just, I just want to play one hand, the twenty. And so she goes, cash plays. They got to say cash plays if you're not using chips. And so, and I'm like, okay, you know. And I win. Okay, so now there's forty dollars there, and my new bride's tugging on my arm. Oh, great, let's go. And I'm like, no, no, let it ride. And it wins. So now it's eighty dollars there. I let it ride, and it wins. <laughs> so now it's one hundred and sixty dollars there. Let it ride. And it wins. <laughs> Nine hands in a row, ladies and gentlemen. This is why for someone like me to win like that is a bad thing. Because <laughs> it led to me getting hooked on it. And um, I'm like, um, at that point, it's because, um, you know, my new bride is, is nervous and she's excited. And she's like, but she's like, Take it down, take it down, right? So nine hands in a row, starting with twenty dollars, right? Win, 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 win. Um, so I take down all of it but a hundred dollars because I I wanted to make a hundred dollar bet, you know. And they give you black chips for a hundred dollars. I never bet a black chip. I won't bet with the black chips, man. And I go just, I said just, just one hundred dollar bet. I want to, I want to bet the black. Now I had more than a hundred dollars sitting out there this whole time, but I hadn't actually taken. A black chip and put the black chip down there I want and she goes okay so I scrape all of the all the other chips down you know and I gave them to her she puts them in her purse but there's a hundred dollar bet sitting out there and this is it this is the last one and he gives me two queens oh man you know never split queens <laughs> you got a 20 you got a good hand you know, you could turn that into two bad hands. You know, if you get a two and a four, two on one, a four on the other. Now you got, you just turned a 20 into a 12 and a 14. But the dealer had six, showing a six. So I split them. Now you got, now I got to put another, so I have to ask her. I said, I need, I need another black chip. I need another black chip. And she's like, no, I, I have to. I, I want to split them. And so she gives me a black chip, you know, boom. Down it goes. Now I got two hundred dollars bet on two queens, ace ace. I'm not making this up. Ace ace. Both of them blackjack. The dealer looks over my shoulder and he's like this. You know he's pointing at me. He goes like this, and I'm like I'm like what what? I turn around and she's gone. <laughs> she's not there. She passed out, man. She fainted. I looked down. She's down on the floor behind me, spread eagle, arms out like this on on the carpet in the casino, out like a light. You know, so, so now, <laughs> ah, you know, I get down there and I'm, I'm tending to her and then all the, 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 the employees come over, the, the casino people and stuff, and they're all trying to help, you know, and get her up, you know, and the doctor shows up. I put her in a wheelchair and they wheel her outside where there's fresh air, you know, and the doctor, you know, give, bring some orange juice, bring some orange juice, you know, give her some orange juice. And she's sitting in the chair and, and the doctor's talking to her now. She's fine. She's fine. You know, she, she's, he goes, uh, he said, where'd you come from? And I said, 
you know, down, um, you know, down Orange County way, you know, and he's, and he says, yeah, sea level. He says, we're at, you know, what, what was it? He, you know, we're at almost 7,000 feet, you know, there's a, you know, and the airplane and the wet, you know, you got married and all that excitement and then the change in elevation. He says, it's not uncommon. People get lightheaded and, and then the excitement you were winning big. And he says, she's fine. She'll be okay. Okay, so all of this takes like over half an hour. I mean, we're, we're outside. She's, she's in the wheelchair. We get her out of the wheelchair. She's fine. She can walk. And I go, my two queens. Oh, my gosh. So I go, run, <laughs> I go running back in there thinking, you know, I don't know if they stole my money or what they owe the money. I mean, I left the table. I didn't, you know. And I, they kept, they had it there. I get, I get back to the table and there's my winnings, you know. Yeah, yeah, we saved them for you, so here you go. So, day one, I mean, we haven't even checked in yet. I had won enough money to pay for the rings and the whole honeymoon. <laughs> right there. That's, you know, so, um, yeah, yeah. Not a, uh, <laughs> Not a uh, not a good thing for somebody like me because, like I said, decades later, um, I was I was I was going out every night. You know, interesting thing about that when you do something like that, you get to meet the local uh, the locals that gamble. There's a, there, there's uh, two interesting guys I'll tell you about. One, um, because I'd see him, I'd see him every night, and. Um, and he would always leave early. And here's, here was his deal. Now, he was quite a bit older than me, and he was retired, but he had made a deal with his wife because this was his form of entertainment, you know, so he, you know, because he'd retired, and he did, you know, and, and she wanted him out of the house anyway because he was driving her crazy. And so they made a deal. He could go, and he could, he could play poker. Um, but uh, if he was up 100 or down 100, he came home. So as soon as he got down a hundred, he had to go home. As soon as he got up a hundred, he would go home, and he was going. And he would always leave early, and and he usually was winning. And so he told me what the deal was he made with his wife. As soon as I make a hundred bucks, I go home. I go. He says, yeah. He says most most uh, most weeks I make five hundred bucks. You know, I do it Monday through Friday. And then on a weekend, she and I, you know, we leave town and we go out and have a, a weekend and down by the beach or something. You know, we go to the coast. And I went out. So you know he was you know they'd been married for you know over thirty years and obviously he he respected his wife because he stuck to that. The other guy that w that I'll tell you about that was real interesting. We're standing there at uh, Caesar's Palace. And we're gonna sit sit in on a poker game and we're looking at the tables. Me and him and I didn't. We weren't friends or anything. I just had seen him you know and and sat at tables and played with against him before and and he he knew me. But then I'm sitting there and uh, I'm like, which one are you going to sit at? You know, which, where are you going to go? And he says, uh, no, there was a table open up. There was a, a seat open up. He says, you, you can have it. You know, and I said, no, you were here first. You take it. He goes, no. He says, I'm waiting for my pigeons. I was like, who's your pigeons? He said, college kids. He says, I'm waiting for a table full of college kids. And I said, why? Because they don't know shit from Shinola. And he goes, that and they're here to uh to party he says they'll drink they'll get drunk he says easy pickings <laughs> so, so anyway that's enough of that and youtube uh psa do not does not endorse anything mojave d just said all right let me get my eyeballs on get my big head out of here and we'll go join john and i'm staying away from the tables <laughs> smoke them if you got them i'll see you in a sec all right i'm back how you doing doing well again uh in case you're wondering hold on that music might be too loud let's move it to something more mellow that's kind of mellow <laughs> in case you're wondering how the irs knows about winnings um if you win a certain amount i can't remember how it works they make you fill out a form um I'll give you an example of that. Um, now, I'd already quit, right? Now, it's, it's 7 o'clock in the morning. I'm just going to go to breakfast, and there's a there's a, a resort on the way there, uh, you know, and I, I like their breakfast. 
and um, there's a bar there, and uh, um, I know I know the the bartender, you know, her name. I will just say her name was Shelly, and um, and uh, I'm walking by to go have breakfast and go to work. I'd be work nine o'clock at seven o'clock in the morning, seven ten, something like that. And um, she goes, she goes, David, David, David. You know, she's excited and she's insistent. Come over here. And they've got um, poker machines all around the bar, right? The electronic poker machines. And she says, you've got to play this machine. You've got to play this machine. It's going to hit, you know. And, and I go, I go, Shelly, you know, no, you know, I don't do that. And, and, um, and she says, no, no, you have to play. She goes, look, look, it's up over $7,000. It never gets up to over $7,000. Usually it's around 65. You know, there was a man here last night. Her shift was midnight to eight in the morning, so she was almost off. And she wanted somebody to hit it because it's customary to tip the bartender in, that, in those situations if you hit the, the Royal Flush. And... Um, you know, she said, he, he put over $2,000 in this. He just left like 15 minutes ago. You know, it's going to hit. It never goes over 7000 You know, it, it always hits. It's ready. I'm like, I'm like uh, you know, and she, but she was insistent. She wouldn't let me leave. She was like, no, no, no. I want you to hit it. And I went, yeah. It's a dollar machine, you know. It's it's five dollars a throw. You got to bet the maximum. You got to bet five dollars to win the the, the you know the the, um, the royal flush to get the maximum payout. I said, I tell you what, twenty bucks, four throws, you know, four pushes of the button, four hands, and that's it. I'm gonna get breakfast, and I'm I gotta go to work. And she says, okay, okay. First hand, four kings pays four hundred bucks. Five dollar bet, you know, and uh, so I go to cash out, you know, I got four hundred bucks, you know, well three eighty, I got twenty of it's mine I put in, and uh, she grabs my wrist, she grabs my wrist, you know, to stop me from hitting the cash out button. Is she can get fired for doing that? You can't, she can't do that, man. They got you on camera, you know, they've got the eye in the sky, man. They see, they got you from every angle. And, um, and she goes, no, she says, keep going. You know, and then she realized what she had done. You know, she, she was stopping me and she let go right away. And she goes, Ooh, you know, cause she realized, you know, oh, I could get fired for that. And, um, I'm like, I said, okay, tell you what I said, I'm on, pl I'll play it down to 300 cause I'm fully expecting to lose. I'll pay, play it down to 300 and then I'm having breakfast and I'm going to work. Long story short, 20 minutes later, I hit the Royal Flush. Now, it was up and down, up and down, but it never went under 300, right? I never had less than 300 in there. So it was up and down, up and down. And I hit the Royal Flush. Lights go off and all of that. And here come, and, I go, and Shelly squeals, you know, she's, ah, you know, yes, 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 yes. I'm glad it was you. I'm glad it was you, you know, and all of this. And, um... And she's all excited and happy, you know. It's like 7.30 in the morning now. And uh, and here come the guys. And so you got uh, the one guy. Uh, I don't know what their positions are, but he's the one with the money. And the other two guys, and so it's kind of, still kind of look, you know, they're all mafia out, you know, the black suits and all that. And they come up, and they've got the forms that you got to fill out. You got to fill out, well... All you have to do is sign it. The, 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 the casino already fills it all out, how much money and, and what the tax should be on that and everything. And you just sign it, and they send it in to the IRS. So that's how they know. But here's the thing, man. They start counting this money out, and it's cash. This is cash. This is like a lot. This is 7, 000, It was 7400 and something in $100 bills. I'm, I'm like, I never, that never happened to me before. So she's, and they're counting it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And I'm numb to it. I'm not even like realizing what, 
until I get, you know, until I get to 50, and it's like 51, 52, 53, 54, and I realize those are $100 bills. <laughs> now it hits me, and oh, I'm at, now I get excited. Those are $100 bills, man, you know, 63, 64, 65, you know, boom, boom, $7,400. And, uh, I give her 200 and she's all excited and um, you know you made my day you know you made my day thank you thank you and uh, I get up and, and I got a wad I mean it's it's a wad of hundred dollar bills and they asked me if I want security to escort me to my car I said no no man I don't, I don't need security you know and then uh, Shelly says, you better think about that. You don't know who's been watching. You know, they're counting out all those hundreds, you know, and I go, I'm fine. And um, so I start, I, yeah, now I'm skipping breakfast now, you know. I'm, and so I start walking out to my car and I say, you know what? It was Shelly just said, you don't know who, who watched that, you know. And so I, I, I stopped and I went back I, and I went to the, I go, yeah, 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 give me an escort. Give me, give me, a, give me, a, give me, a, give me an armed escort out to my car, you know. And I went home and, um, and I've got all this, I've got $7,200 in cash and uh, I called in sick. <laughs> I'm not coming in today. <laughs> I forgot to put my eyeballs on. Let me go get my eyeballs and then we'll jump in on John. Oh, but that's how the IRS knows about some of your winnings anyway. In case you're wondering in the comments, like, how, did, how, did, how come you had to claim $22,000 that one year way back when? All right, man. And all this was, uh, that was, uh, that instance right there was around, in, it was around 2000-ish, you know. But like I said, you know, over 24 years ago, and I don't, I don't touch any of that anymore all right i can see now now their moral moral to those stories if there is one is don't gamble but if you do um <laughs> too loud too loud too loud what's Baldur gate sound like that's kind of mellow if you do Go to the bar if you play slot machines, which again, I you know, I you know, hey, you know, if you want to, fine. Um, go to a, go to the bar in the casino and ask the bartenders and word it just like this: Which one would you play? Which now? Don't ask them, you know, which machine is hot or anything like that. Say which one would you play to the bartender. The reason you go to the bartender and ask them that is because they have a limited number of machines. The machines that they keep an eye on are around their bar. If it's an L-shaped bar, boop, boop, they know what's happening with all those machines, right? If it's a horseshoe-shaped bar, same thing. But it's going to be uh, 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 poker poker machines at the bar. Uh, don't ask the girls on the floor because they have too big of an area if you're a slot player. They have too big of an area. They, they they can't keep an eye on all the machines and what's going on with them in their area. But the bartenders can very, very easily. And um, I'll, I'll tell you a story about that. I had a friend one time, he come in and and um, and I'm, I'm not gonna gamble, but I, I went with him to show him around. And uh, he had lost $350, you know, playing the slot machines. He had his favorite slot machines, and he and he was kind of down. He goes, man, I went through 350 bucks quick. I said, I come here, come here, and I will go up to the bar. And um, he goes, he goes, I, I don't like, I don't like the poker machines. I, I don't, I don't want to play the the poker machines. And I said, come here, <laughs> come here. And so we go up to the bar. And there's three bartenders back there, and I say, which one would you play? And all three of them went, that one. <laughs> all three of them pointed at the, get my finger in, at the same machine. All three of them. I go, sit down. 
<laughs> uh, about an hour later, he had won nine hundred dollars. So he was he went from being three hundred and something down to being you know six hundred and something up. But there's a, there's a pro tip for you from a former guy, and the real tip is. Uh, don't do it <laughs> or have a budget and stay on your budget like the, that that fella that uh, you know he had a budget man if I get a hundred dollars up I'm done if I get a hundred dollars down I'm going home so have yourself a budget stick to it and I am probably um, oh wait a minute we got an X here why do I have an X here? I was going to head over towards the M, but I have an X and a black dot. I have no idea. What's up, John? Tell me what's going on. McFarland Ranch Foreman's office. What are we up to? Follow Charlie. He's a good one to sniff out trouble. Stay close to Charlie. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta pause this for a second. I don't have my headphone plugged in. Yeah, I forget when I uh, with Xbox, I gotta plug the headset into the controller. I'm on PS5 for this game, and I gotta plug it into the speaker. So what are we doing? I didn't even hear. Lasso hogtie criminals. We're, what are we doing, I, I, <laughs> guys? I don't know what we're doing. Do you criminals? Well, there's a blue dot. Am I supposed to go after this blue dot? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. It's a dog. What was I supposed to do? Am I supposed to lasso the dog? Doesn't make sense, but the blue dot is going this way. It's going to take me to something, guys. Already, this game has got me confused. I was flapping my jaws and I wasn't reading the prompts as to what we were supposed to do with that guy. And then it said, Lasso criminals. I am completely at a loss, but I am enjoying the view. It is pretty. Well, I couldn't do anything with him. You guys know what I just did? Does anybody know what this is? This game is so um, vague. Did this guy, was I supposed to follow this guy somewhere? Nice to see you too. Well, I had set a course. I don't know what just happened. Yeah. Let's get hey, yellow belly. Who is he calling yellow belly? Him? Am I gonna get in a gunfight? I really am, um, don't remember how to do this. He called me Yellow Belly. You best shit out, boy. Can I punch him? He called me Yellow Belly. Well, he's out the ranch. He's one of our guys. I mean, why? Why would I? This game. Horse comes roaring in here like a um, Shelby Mustang. I think these. Um, I think I figured it out with the horses. Rockstar makes that a race car game, don't they? And I think the movement on these horses is like a car, right? It's more like a car than like a horse, isn't it? Check this map one more time. So we're heading for the M. 
That's Marshall Johnson. And we do have Nigel over here. Ah, uh, we just saved... What did we do last time? Let's go. I can't remember what we did on the last episode. <laughs> I'm going to have to watch my own dang video. Sorry, girl, boy. Sorry, Shadow. Look at that. I just love this view right here. Let's bring back memories. I tell you, if you want to see a really phenomenal view. Come on. Oh, I got to remember the name of the highway. I, I, I got to look it up now. But coming down from Lake Tahoe. And I forget the highway. Uh, you gotta be on a certain highway. And you're coming down and you're looking out over towards Bishop and you still have elevation. You're still up there. You know, five, 6,000 feet. Oh my goodness. And you've got a view of the whole valley down there at the base of the High Sierras. And it's not like this. It's green. I mean, it's because you're up high elevation. So it's not a, a, a desert vista. It's a, oh, it's a high desert vista. Absolutely. One of the most beautiful views I've ever seen. I've, I've got to look up the highway and tell you what, what, what it is. But I think you come down around past Carson City. I can't remember. i got to look it up. It's been a long, long time since I've done it. How do you do? I do fine. How do you do? Well, at least these guys don't shoot at you like that other town, man. I walked in there and everybody started shooting. That's I think that's what happened on the last one. I went into town to try and, and find something that that... Whoa, what happened? I missed the cutscene. What, what just happened? I just missed a whole day. What happened? What? Hold it. Get to Bonnie. Hold on. What just happened? They just they just skipped the entire cutscene, and I don't know what's going on. I, I don't know what's going on. Flowers for the lady. I know you, funny man. That, that's what we did last time. Brief. Hurry up, Marston. We gotta get Bonnie. Follow the marshal. Come on. Let's get this charmer to tumbleweed. Um. Uh. What just happened? I. I. I it's. Did you see that? It skipped all of that. Um, main menu, new game, load game. The burning is the last auto save. Um, game. I don't know what just happened. It just, I, I don't know what we're doing. All of a sudden, we're just, we're riding off. Hold it. Load game. I got to go back. Something wrong. Well, that's, that's the la that's the latest save, the burning. I, I don't think I have a choice because I don't know what, what, what's going on. We got a guy thrown over the back of a horse and, and riding off. I don't know what's happening.
So I set a course for here. So the burning is over. That's what we did last time. You can now help the ranch hands patrol McFarland's ranch. Let's go. I don't know what happened, y'all. Um, I might want to do a save here. I, I, I'm sorry. Um, I don't know what happened. The burning is still there. Uh, I, I don't see an option to do a save. Okay. Maybe I'll go slow. Maybe I went too fast. Did I maybe I skipped something I wasn't supposed to skip? Cause I was flapping my jaws and one wasn't paying attention. But I don't mind doing this ride again. It's absolutely gorgeous. I'm gonna keep this thing at horse pace. I mean yeah. we can go into race car. <laughs> I'm looking to see if there was something I should have done. But all I did was was um, get off the horse at the at the yellow X and next thing you know and went into a cutscene and then boom we're riding off. Come on, let's go. And we got some guy thrown over the back of a saddle and the marshal, and I, I have no idea. Cholo Springs. Keep wanting to sprint by pushing down on the L trigger, and that is not how you sprint in this RDR1. Dang it, dang it, stop it! <sighs> Trying to get the lasso up. Woman, you are giving me a hard hour here. I should probably have done this on the horse. Dang, she's fast. I had her. He stops running when you try to lasso. You can la you can run and lasso, John. Ask me how I know. You don't have to be standing still to throw that son of a gun. Oh, we're going to chase her all the way across the map. She's just too fast. Well, screw it. I lost my honor? 
she was waylaying me. She was waylaying me, man. You won't be needing this, ma'am. Oh, that sucked. Any chance my horse will come from that far away? Oh, great chance. What do you know? Look at this. My horse has got a V8 in it. guys waylay me at see that kind of thing just confuses the holy heck out of me I get waylaid I tried not to kill her. And I figured since All of this is so confusing. I was in the middle of explaining what the heck I think happened back there, and then this happens. So kind of you. Much obliged. You take care of yourself now. My word! And then we're just going to watch her walk away, see? And there's nothing you can do. My hunter went up 100, and there's nothing you can do but watch her walk away. And is this, was this her man or something right here? So this dude's like a cannibal. I'm, all this stuff is just, I'm like, what is happening? Come on, Rockstar. I mean, you got to be a little more specific and you got to tie up loose ends. You know, there's so many loose ends that go on with this game. I'm, I'm not bitching about the game. I'm, I'm just bitching about me not knowing what the hell's going on. And I need a little more help with what's going on. So, back to the the, guy, the people. That, now, see, now she just walks away. And there's nothing you can do except watch her walk back to town. I was trying to find where they waylaid me. But what I don't understand is, okay, so that's a, a bandit trap. They shot me. Okay? I got hit. Killed them. I was trying to spare the woman. Just I should have stayed on my horse. Couldn't catch up to her. Now I can't find them. And uh, so I figure, what the heck? You little beauty. Um. And I shot her. <laughs> because, I mean, look at this thing. Vroom! Yeah, yeah, I think they um, they just like copied and pasted uh, their race car um, um, <laughs> uh, stuff and, for, and put it on a horse, you know? Because a horse does not act like a horse. It, it, it acts like a damn race car. So is that like... Um, Rockstar does the GTA stuff, right? The Grand Theft Auto. So I think right back here... Now, it's not that way on Red Dead 2. But I think right here at this point, they just kind of took a shortcut and just copied and pasted their race car uh, data onto a horse. Now we got somebody waving at us. And we got guys running. These boys killed two of my men and escaped. Hunt them down like the dogs they are. Sure. Let's go. You've got to run faster than that.
four dollars. Four dollars. I get four dollars, and the sheriff just goes limping off, and we can't help him. Sheriff just go limping off. Look at him. He's still limping. so hard for me to figure out what the heck I'm supposed to be doing, man. Yeah, I've gunned down a fella yeah. back here. Let's go get him. It's just so hard to understand. It's just like a, a whole bunch of loose ends. I forgot to put the parking brake on the horse. No. Now get off the horse. Get off the horse. Okay, Shadow... Maybe you need to move. Loot body. Excuse me, mister. No excuse. God, good golly. Ha! Huh. Yeah. I'm gonna take my time and try to think. So, get waylaid. All bad people. No problem shooting the guys. Shoot a woman, minus 50. I understand. Except that she was robbing me. And she was in on uh, setting me up to get shot. Which I did. I got shot. A woman out who's tied up. Some dude is eating, was gonna eat her, and did in fact eat her companions or some other two other dudes that were there. Kill him. Someone might as well have this. Someone might as well have this and then nothing, and they get nothing. Um, she walks back, and we just let her walk back to town. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? Need some help with that. Have a good day, Hello there. Oops. Coffins. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just looking around. I'm thinking is what I'm doing. I'm just kind of meandering around here, trying to, trying to make sense. Of it all, and I'm afraid to go up there and hit that X because I don't want it to glitch on me again. Good morning, friend. See, look. Howdy. Now he's just he. Look at him. Look at him. Look at him. Gavin. Gavin. My fault, officer. Gavin. Have you seen my friend Gavin? I, I, you know, I don't know, man. Where's my house? Rockstar's gonna get mad at me. I'm making fun of him. All right, smoke him if you got him. I'm gonna approach this X with uh, caution because I don't want it to do what it did last time, and, and I don't know what's going on, which is par for the course because I don't know what's going on. Man, smoke him if you got him. I'll be right back at you. All right. Okay. Let's let's uh, let's pray that this goes well. Now, I'm not going to hit you this time. Just follow me, girl, boy. Follow me, Shadow. Me and my Shadow. Um, okay, now, go slow. Go slow. Okay. Hanging Bonnie McFarland. 
did it again. Let's get this charmer to tumbleweed. I don't know Let's what go. we're doing. Well, I'll just go with it, I guess. Why is this sorry son of a bitch so important to them? Yeah. Norman Deke Williamson, right hand man. In other words, a glorified errand you boy. Wait, Marshal. I'll be back for you. Bill standards have slipped. We already filled you with lead once, you ugly bastard. That's the kind of man who's mean enough to be second in command, but too cowardly and stupid to ever be a leader. Don't ever use that line near your deputy. You know, for his sake, they'd best not have laid a finger on Miss McFarland. Ew. Okay. Okay. <laughs> so, second in command. And they mentioned Bill, and they already shot John. That's how the, that's how the game starts, right? John gets shot by Bill, or Bill Bill's man, and then Bonnie comes to his rescue. Okay, so somehow uh, I don't know what we're doing. <laughs> somehow we've got this guy second in command. So imagine. What is this place we're headed? Yeah. Tumbleweed, a lonely, godforsaken place. Some people say it's haunted. It was quite a town back in its day. Then they built the railroad to Armadillo and went clean past Tumbleweed. And that was that. Pretty soon, everybody had up and left. Now it's just thieves, smugglers, and bandits. Scum like Deke here. Oh, popular spot for lynchings, too. Let's try to avoid that if we can, Marshal. Deke. Deke. Uh, we captured Deke. Like... What, two episodes ago? Brought him in. I'm, I'm, okay. I just hope you're not taking advantage of the McFarland, Marston. They saved my life. Gave me food and bed when they had no idea who I they was. They grabbed a ball. them more than I can ever repay. That's just they've been through a lot. Well, they're both vulnerable in different ways. I wouldn't have been running in and out of a burning barn to save their horses otherwise. Oh, I know you helped, just like you helped me. But you got your reasons for doing it. It's no secret why I'm here, Marshal. I told you the very first time I walked into your office. Right. I trust you. It's just right. all this business with Blackwater and Williamson and the past. I don't know. Sometimes it's hard not to have doubt. I understand. I never planned to be in the lawman business neither. How is this mess supposed to turn out? Sending an outlaw to do the work of a lawman. That's madness. Ain't much difference between the two, as far as I can tell. There have to be rules, Marston. Even you must understand that. It's easy to make up rules, but they ain't much use if people don't understand why. Like my son. If I tell him not to do something, he'll do it anyway, just to spite me. If I punish him, he resents me for it. But if I show him why it's wrong, at least he has reason not to do it again. That's nonsense. Oh, Without laws, we're nothing more than animals. Hey, you look at Deke well, here. Go to hell! Man, it's yeah. one part of civilization. Deke. Your boy steps out of line, you whack him. He does it again, whack him harder. You're a good man, Marshal. And I respect what you're trying to do. But what I've seen since I've arrived here, the law ain't really working. Criminals are like weeds, Marston. Quicks you stomp one out, another one sprouts up in its place. It's the nature of places. <laughs> you know that as well as I do. The problem with laws is everybody ain't the same. Why should a bunch of rich university boys in the East get to decide how a man in Armadillo should live his life? Yeah. Well, maybe you're right about that. He is right about that. Where you from, Marston? Lots of places, I suppose. I've been living up on a little farm in West Elizabeth for the past few years. Can we get no, to West man, Elizabeth? What's your nationality? I'm Irish. Is that all the map? Irish as I am Scottish. I I'm not uh, Irish as I am Scottish. I'm wondering if um, Elizabeth is on the map. His um, his homestead. It does not appear to be. I'm sorry. I just I just they mentioned that, and I just got to thinking like, can he? Can we visit his homestead? Apparently not. And I I think I get the gist of what we're doing here. An Irishman who's never left New Austin. My father was a Scot who never stepped foot in Scotland. You gotta admire the patriotism. I'll kill all three of you myself, I swear! Ah, uh, Deke, shut up. Oh, God damn it! I ain't no use to you dead! Yeah. Man, 
killed you yet. Don't worry, my boys know how to treat a lady. Oh, buddy, you are cruising for a bruising. Across the bridge. Not far to go now. They better not have done anything awful to Bonnie. Bad feeling about John. this. You'll be exchanging the prisoner for Bonnie in the middle of town. Keep your eyes open. I sincerely doubt these scum plan to play fair. Fair my ass. You bet. Besides, Norm here is gonna be my shield, ain't you, Norm? <laughs> It'd be my pleasure. Norm's going down. Norm's gonna get killed John, right away. You lead Deke into town. Make the exchange. Well, <laughs> I'm sure it's been nice for the boys to have a whore to play with. What? I hear those rancher girls like it in the rear. Why can I shoot this sucker? Maybe she won't want to go home. She been fucked so Damn it. Good. What the? Right, start walking. Oh. What are you waiting for? Untie me, fillers. Wait. We're fun of you, bastard. <laughs> Trusting son of a bitch, ain't you? Oh, wow. I need to get out of here. Sorry, I didn't mean to shoot the horse. Where is she? Where's Bonnie, you sons of bitches? What? Oh man, come on. Got all of them? Oh, for crying out loud. Man. Bonnie, are you okay? Oh, man. I'm fine now, Mr. Marston. Thank you. Thank you. <coughs> what the hell took you so long, you stupid man? Well, you weren't exactly helping me. Well, she was tied up. I think up. I'm going to lower myself by making a joke about being all tied up. <laughs> well. You got another thing coming. Come on. <coughs> oh, dear. Huh. Excuse me, mister. Was that really necessary? I mean, the conversation. That was some rude conversation. See now, this is what I'm talking about. There was a dude up here on the roof, wasn't there? Can I get up there? Well, how'd he get up there? There was a dude shooting that from up top. Maybe it was one of these other buildings. I, I mean... <laughs> I guess that uh, reinforces that we're dealing with some really evil people. 
I find it hard to believe that Bill... would employ men like this. But it is what it is. But I was completely shocked by the things they were saying, man. I don't know that it'll do any good to on these buildings um, and I'm really not in the mood after that I mean I put a real bad taste in my mouth that uh, conversation I don't know where all these dudes were I mean if they give me some axes I can know where to loot oh this son of a gun this son of a bitch is this him there's an axe here Deke? Where's Deke? I'd like to burn Deke's body. All right, let's see. Is that Deke? Can we kill people up here? That's where we got Deke. Now there was uh, three of them up here. I only see one body. Yeah, I think we have some kind of uh, a glitch going on. He can't jump over something like that, can he? Um, I don't know, man. I've been in here for a church like it. I mean, haven't we? It's just got the same message on it that it had before. The devil has got into that beast. Grammar. <laughs> I can talk. We got this guy already. Uh, yeah, we, we got that message before, and you guys were saying it's like a cheat code, and I don't know what a cheat code is. Or, well, I know what it is. I mean, it's a cheat code, but I don't know what you do with that. I'm calling my little... Uh, little black Corvette over here. <laughs> I, I, the only reason I'm doing this is because I'm trying to make sense of things. Um, because I, they, they leave things kind of half explained. Um, if I had played this game first, um, I, it would be, I would have a different reaction to that, and then I would have been even blown away more by Red Dead 2, but as it is coming from Red Dead 2 to this, you see a lot of uh, incompletion. Oh, look at that buckskin. I do love buckskins. All right. Um, I don't think there's anything worth looting here. I think I'm just wasting my time. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Come over here, Shadow. Try not to crash. boy. <laughs> um, I think I want to... I'm going to call it a video... Because, whoa, did I get this guy? There were some people on roofs, but I don't know how they got up there because I can't get up there. Um, and I don't know which roofs they were on. Were they on this roof? Apparently not. Yeah! 
There's somebody up here. Look at that view, though. I just love it. Look at that. I, I, I don't know. I know it's a run downtown, but I'm looking at the horse and the... My apologies, mister. Look, look at the parrot. Is that a parrot? What is that? There was a, another guy on a roof somewhere. Oh, I'm trying to hit the box. Um... I wonder if I, if I shoot that parrot, I mean, that would be a thing, right? I mean, that would be another bird to add to the compendium and probably get me some uh, kissy points or something. Well, I mean, there's a lot of buildings around, but I want to call it a video. Um, because I'm... Well, I don't know. Let's look at the map. Uh, what I want to do, I'm experimenting with trying to uh, figure out how to... Well, what's this? Flowers for a lady. So we still need to get flowers. Uh, I'm going to look at the um, the journal because there's some flowers around here that I need to get for him. I think there's two. Two of the flowers are in this region here. But I'm going to call it a video because uh, I'm trying... I'm experimenting with how to get rid of that tear. Uh, in the in the up once it uploads to um, uh, what do you call it YouTube so thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed it I appreciate you being here y'all take care of yourselves and we'll see you on the next one good night